CSI Vegas is airing Sundays on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. And lead star of the show, Paula Newsom, joins me now via Zoom. Paula, good to see you again. How are you? I'm good, Blake. How are you? Good to be back in the Ozarks. Yes, I'm good as well. So, Paula, the show is now in the midst of its third season. So tell me how it feels to be back. It's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, being part of this like global phenomenon, CSI, and coming back for season three of this new iteration, it's 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 wonderful. Yeah. Well, we've seen that this season you've had to deal with the fallout of Folsom's actions after his mom was murdered. So tell me, how is it to film those scenes? And did you find it hard to show that character some tough love? Actually, no, I kind of really enjoyed it. OK, you know, if he's like a relative, he'd be doing some bad things, Blake, you know, and it's a pleasure to be able in in this very scientific uh, show to pick a pause and have a really emotional moment. Mm. Okay, I really like that because honestly, that's as a viewer, that's what draws me in is those kind of like very vital, emotional, important moments in these shows where you just kind of, I don't know, you're taken to this kind of other dimension within the show, which I think is really special. Now, what can you tell me about this week's episode? This week's episode is we get to see, so Josh did some bad stuff. He did some stuff he should have done, right? So what happens is the repercussions over the lack of, of those actions culminate this Sunday. Mm. We get how he has to pay for it. And okay. Max is the one who gives him that bill. Oh, okay. So people have to tune in to kind of get more and dig into more of what you're saying. I love this. Now, I understand that Reggie Lee has joined this season as the new under sheriff. So how's it been working with him? I love Reggie Lee. I love me some Reggie Lee. So I want you to know, Blake, me and Reggie Lee did a musical together back in like 19... 1910. Okay, throwback. <laughs> oh, I love throwback. We were in Carousel back at Lincoln Center Theater, and when I saw this character coming over my script, we were, I was a couple of scripts early, so I said to my showrunner, I was like, can we grab Reggie Lee for this? He's a, he's a gifted actor, and the fact that we get to have him with us and the fact that he is the one who kind of is giving it to Max a little bit is an absolute pleasure. He's very wonderful. Yeah, it's fun to see you guys together on the show. And here's what else is cool is that Marge Helligenberger is also back. And it's been great to see two strong women leading the show, not something that we often see in kind of primetime television. So tell me what it's been like working with her. And why do you think it's important for audiences to see strong women leadership in shows like this? First of all, what's it like working with Mark? Easy. Secondly, why I think it's important because it's real life. Mm. And thirdly, it's just a pleasure. It's a pleasure being able to spread out and see what's see to open people's horizons to what's actually going on in the world. Okay, I really appreciate that. I love seeing this. I think it's great for the audience and just great for TV in general. Now, I think I asked you a little about this the last time we spoke, but last season we got to see the relationship with both your son and ex-husband on the show. So will they be back this season? And what other challenges will Max face this season as we go on? Because we have such a truncated season because of the strike and stuff like that, we had two strikes. Good Lord, strikes, a hurricane, <laughs> a, 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 you know, all kinds of stuff coming yeah. through Los Angeles. But so they're going to, we're going to look forward to seeing them next season. However, what we do get to look forward to at the end of the season, we're going to wrap the season up with something that we're dealing with globally. Mm. And that is AI. AI, get, okay. AI. I <laughs> get to see how it affects you, how it will affect me, how it will affect mm. the people at home, and how it will affect the lab. Okay, I love that because it really is something that's affecting all of us. It's something we've talked about a lot on this show as well. So, um, Paula, we saw that in the premiere episode, you guys go back to Vegas to film. So, what's it like for you filming there, and do you guys hope to go back in the future? I always love going back to Vegas because Vegas, you see things you don't expect to see, right? You mm -hmm. don't expect to see a woman standing in a circle with a cell phone, high heels, pasties, and a thong. <laughs> it's not, you don't expect to see that, Blake. You don't expect to see people work, walking around in maybe a little bit too little clothes, mm -hmm. right? You don't expect to see that. But also, Vegas is like another character in our play. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's fun, it's unexpected, it's hot, 
People do a bunch of things that they shouldn't be doing, and we always put it on television. Yeah, yeah. I always say that visiting Vegas is kind of like visiting another planet, so I can only imagine what it's like to film there. Well, Paula, thank you so much for your time. CSI Vegas Sundays on CBS. It's always great chatting with you, and best of luck with the show and whatever's next for you. Thanks, Blake.